Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Hope everybody's Sunday is going amazing. Hope it's not too hot in the state that you're in because here in Texas, as my grandma used to say, the devil must be spring cleaning because it's hot as hell outside. You could literally unthaw some chicken outside because trust me, I unthawed a piece of yesterday and it ain't take but 10 minutes to do it. And I set it outside to unthaw and I promise you, I put my timer on. When I set it out there, and like 10 minutes later, I went outside just to check it to see what it was doing. And it was completely unthought. That's just how hot it is here in Texas. So, I'm coming to do a thrift haul. It's going to be three different videos going to be going up today. I got a beauty haul going, coming up. I got the thrift store haul going up. And I got Walmart. And Tuesday morning. So we got a some, a couple of videos. So this should hold you guys over to whenever the next video is going to be. Who knows when that's going to be? So let's just get into this. This is going to be the thrift haul. So let me say hello to my day ones. Hello to my day ones. Hello to my queen. Hello to my bestie. Hello to my new stubbies. Welcome to another video. I really didn't get that much stuff because I honestly, y'all, and you're going to hear me say this in my thrift video, I don't need absolutely positively nothing. 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 So, this is going to be a collector haul, but before I get into that, I was in Walmart. No, I say that store from a Walmart haul. Let me not even get into that. Let's just jump right into this thrift store haul. So, a couple weeks ago, or last week sometime, I went to Goodwill because I had donated some stuff. And whenever I donate, I always go in there and look just to see what I can find. And I had found this um, nail rack. Yeah, I got some nail polish right here. This is a nail polish holder. And I'm going to put it over there in the closet. I'm going to spray paint. I'm not even going to keep it this color pink. I'm going to spray paint this uh, maybe like a teal or seafoam green. Or maybe black. I don't know. I'm probably going to do it black. But I got this and this thing was $1.99. Can't beat it. But I got that. Because we all know. Oh, shit. I got my nail polishes in here. But I got my nail polishes in here. As you can see. And I got two over there. And sis, overlook what they look like. But this nail color is one of these. Um, one of those. Matte. One of these. Um, if you, you can put clear nail polish on it if you want to but if not you can leave it as a match so I'm going to go get me a refill next weekend and I'm going to pull that color out put this color back on because I really 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 enjoy that color but I have my nail polishes in here so I'm going to take them out and put them on that nail rack and put it in the closet I got that from Goodwill so for my favorite thrift store, I was going to get me a backpack off of um, Poshmark, but they damn shipping so fucking high. They they charging you shipping like they fucking Forever 21, and we all know Forever 21 shipping is six dollars, seven dollars, six ninety nine or something to that effect, almost seven dollars. Poshmark, y'all damn shipping shouldn't be that fucking high. But anyway, I was going to get one off of there, but then I said, well, let me just. Speak it out. I know Tinkerbell and my and my Dutch favorite is gonna hit. My queen and my ten divas are gonna hit. And I just gotta wait till they present it. And they did just that. So I was gonna buy me one. And I think the one that I wanted was like anywhere anywhere between uh, ten to twenty dollars. I can't remember exactly what the price was, but it ranged within that price. I got this thing for four dollars and ninety eight cents. It has it's already clean. I do this baby in the washing machine. I swear I love my washer, and I need to pay the note on it. Um, but I love my washer because it allows me to 
wash things on um, Gentle, but this is what it looks like. And this is the brand. That's the brand. Yeah. So I got this backpack, and then it has the Velcro, the drawstring. You even have the two straps on the back that are adjustable, and you even have this where you can tote it. So I got this. This is clean, so it's safe for me to throw that on my bed. So Gerard. Um, yes. that was one trip, and then this is another trip. I went in looking for um, a linen shirt to wear with my linen pants. I have one, but I like to wear that shirt with jeans. So I, and then I end up getting this one, which I end up wearing with jeans too. So I got this. Um, this is a um, Van Hansel or Van Hansel, however you say it. It is a small, but it fits me. Perfect. It fits me like a medium. And I got this. I already wore That's why it's wrinkled. I already wore this. It has a one breast pocket. It's not missing any buttons. None whatsoever. I cannot remember the price of this, but I had got this. And I don't think this is linen. Honestly, it feels like it, but I got it because I liked it the way it looked. I really don't think this is linen. And of course, it, oh, it's fifty-five percent linen, forty-five percent rayon. So it's a mixed breed. So this is a mixed breed linen, but I absolutely love it. So I don't have that on. So I thought it finally put that in the dirty clothes. So on that same trip where I got that shirt, I got these Oxfords. I'm gonna show, I'll show you both one now. I can just show you one. These are some Kobo blue with purple insides and purple shoe strings with the purple trimming. These are Oxford. I am going to clean these up. I, this is suede, and I know water and suede don't mix. So I got some suede cleaner that I'm going to spray the top and get my get a brush and scrub scrub it. And then I'm going to get my um, Lysol and my 99% Acrobat. And I was in Walmart and didn't even get no more. And I need to get some more. So I'm going to clean these up. And I think that these are going to be really cute. These are still good for the summer. And I think they're going to be amazing for the winter. So I got that. And then today, I donated some more stuff to Goodwill. They they starting to know me by face because I swear I'm, I'm donating stuff. I, I know if it's not once a week, it's once every two weeks. Because I get bored and I get tired of looking at stuff. And I just get get rid of it so while I was in Goodwill I saw this and I can use this in my bathroom because right now I have my towel that I dry my hands off with like on the wall with one of those command strip things but that's just, just so tacky and ghetto so I saw this and I said well let me go ahead and get this and clean it up um, so I got this to hang the towel on and then when I'm cleaning my face instead of me putting that towel in the shower I can just put it right here and just let it dry so that way I can wash it but yeah I got this and I'm going to put this in my bathroom on my counter somewhere and I got this big so I just need to clean that so that's all I got from the thrift store um, let's go to Tuesday morning. Hopefully I can fit out this in one video. So I went to Tuesday morning. And I saw this cute little bow. This is for Coco Loco. I got this out of the dog section. And I thought that this would be so cute for my Coco Loco. They even had a uh, high pink and white stripy shirt. And on the back of it it said, uh, too cute but spoiled. But they didn't have a small. And it would have been perfect with her little bow. So, she may not let me put this on the top of her head. She bougie like that. She, you know. So, I'm pro it has the Velcro. So, what I'm probably going to do is just put it on the back of, like, at the top of her collar. And let it sit there. Or put it, like, I had a co-worker to make her a couple bowls. And I had it, like, in the front, like, right up under her neck. So that's probably what I'm going to do with this. But look at this. It's my favorite colors. Pink, black, and white. Polka dots, of course. 
Yeah, so I saw this and I was like, yeah, it's Coco. My, listen, my Coco Loco is getting this Coco Loco. My baby is fall to the max. I had got these little um, all-purpose cleaning wipes to throw in my purse when I'm thrifting or I'm out and I and I don't have no hand sanitizer so I decided to you can't even see that I decided to get this to just throw in my purse also I got um, a uh, massaging bar so a massaging soap that is um, defoliating and it's supposed to be apricot so I got this soap yeah Okay, so I got this soap, and it has the little grooves, so we're going to try that out, and hopefully it don't break me the fuck out. And here, here this go. This is, there it is, it's in the grapefruit scent. Yeah, and then let me show you the bow again. Here's the bow, again. Bow, my Coco Loco. They also had some makeup brushes, which of course you know I was going to get, and they by Revlon. And they had five different ones, but I only got three out of the five. So this first one is a blush brush. And they were $4.99. Four, four this is a blush brush. But it also looks like this brush that I got from Coastal Scents, which is a brush, blush brush as well. But I use this for my... Um, uh, um, blotting my uh, powder for uh, oil control. I use this and it's really good. There's some buff and stuff in, but they look just alike. But yeah. So I got this. This next brush is a um, it's a stippling brush, but it's a blending, but that's not what that is. This is a stippling brush. It's not a blending brush. I put my foot down. How about we just open this up? And the reason why I got these brushes is I swear. Oh, yeah. They want to make sure your motherfucking ass don't steal them bitches out of that. The only reason. So this is a stippling brush, and the only reason why I got it is because of the tip, like the handle on it. It's so freaking cute, like, look at that. I can just see this sitting in one, in one of my, oh, I didn't even show y'all this. So when I got the um, nail rack, I saw these, and I got, they had a lot of them, but I only got four because that's all I needed was four. And what I did was store my makeup brushes that's on my vanity in here. And I have four of these. these was, I remember these. These was 99 cents a piece. And I just store my makeup brushes in here to keep the dust off. And I can just see these sitting in there like that. Yeah, so I also got these the same day I got those. Um, got that nail right now. So yeah, and I thought that they was really cute. How they sitting on my vanity, but yeah. So this is the stippling brush. So this is gonna be a part two. So I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all the brushes. Okay, this is the blush brush. And as you can see, it looks just like the Coastal Scents brush. The Coastal Scents brush is just longer. But they both look just alike. So this, um, they're soft. So I won't use this. Oh, yes, I could. I could use it as a blush, but who knows? But I got this brush. And let me hurry up because we're 14 minutes and so. So this is one of the brushes. This is the last brush that I got from Tuesday morning. It's every now and then I stop off in there. And I got this big old powder brush and it's Revlon and it also tell you what kind of brush it is right there so I got this brush I think this will be good for like an overall powder or dusting off something so I thought this will be a good addition to the brushes that I already have so I only got these three 
Like I said, they had a total of five, but I only got three out of the five. 